know you were looking forward to this all day. <laughs> uh, first, drawing five offensive fouls. Did you think that that was even possible? What was going through your head defensively today? Yeah, I knew it was possible. I used to take a lot of charges at uh, SIU in high school. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to be in the right place at the right time today. Um, just be a defensive menace. Um, you know, they got the best of me at home. Uh, you know, I didn't play so good. I got two. I got two fouls early, uh, so that took me out of the game. Um, so I just wanted to come in here with the right mindset. You know, I told Peter this morning I'm not going to force anything. I'm just going to let it come to me. What type of effort does it take to beat a team like Michigan State consistently? Uh, it takes a it takes a great effort. I mean, they're they're a really good team. Uh, they're led by you know Izzo. He's a, a, a great coach. Um, and I mean, they don't they don't give up. I mean, I was telling Carol on the bench. I mean, they just wouldn't go away. Um, no matter how many times we just kept feeding Zach or you know making making those extra plays, they just they just wouldn't go away. How did you use the physicality of that game to your advantage? Uh, feed Zach. Um, you know, it's easy to you know feed him the ball when they're playing aggressive. I mean, they, they have no choice but to follow him down there. And uh, you know, when when he gets the ball down there, he draws a lot of attention, and uh, that just opens up everything for everybody else. What kind of emotions were you feeling when Braden went down and went to the locker room and it wasn't looking too good there? Uh, mixed emotions. Um, I didn't know what I didn't know the severity of it. Uh, I think during the timeout before he came back out, I walked over to you know Foreman and asked him uh, did, did any moves on him. Um, he said not yet, but. When, they, when, when he came back in and he got the standing ovation, it was good to see. Obviously, quick turnaround tomorrow after a battle like that. How do you get right and still know you're even going to play yet? And how do you just focus on tomorrow now? Uh, just get rest. I mean, uh, get off our feet, uh, chill, uh, and do whatever we can to prepare. I mean, just watch a lot of film, uh, watch these games, see who we played first off, and uh, you know, just take care of our bodies. What stabilized your offense when Braden wasn't out there? And, you know, the foul trouble, too, in the first half. You, so you played a lot with that game today. But yeah, I what mean, was your offensive identity, I guess? What did you try to get done when you know, Braden wasn't out there? Uh, mainly for me, it was just to, you know, keep control of the game, uh, not make any bad decisions. Uh, you know, even when they went on that run, you know, we wanted to stay poised. Um, you know, Mason came over to me and he said, just control the game for me, please. And uh, that's what I tried to do. Um, you know, I wish Braden was out there, but at the end of the day, you know, it's next man up, and you know, I put in work just like he, how he does. Was anything you were doing a walker in half court, especially where he had to really work to clear space for him? Yeah, I mean, uh, he's a he's a he's a great a great player. Uh, you know, he's he's really good ISO. Uh, so if you just you know take up his space and uh, try to make things hard for him, uh, force him into tough shots, I mean, you live with the results. It's good.